Hello everybody, this is Grant, also known as The Collector 75, and welcome to another Transformers third party review. This time we are doing the Spark Toys Spartacus, I believe that was his name, also known as The War Within Megatron. Um, now, I didn't even know this figure was out. I mean, I must have seen a video on it, um, to be honest, um, but it probably just slipped below my radar. Uh, and I saw Six Shot Changes review on this, and then I thought, oh my God, how did I? And he said he got it from TF Nation, and I completely did not see it at TF Nation. If I had, I would have I would have bought this rather than probably one of the other figures that I did buy in the end. Because um, this is just phenomenal. I love this figure. It is a, a masterpiece scaled War Within Megatron. And it is... Um, really really good it has a few odd niggles um but nothing really um i i just like it now one of the odd niggles that i have in this tank mode is uh these feet just sort of um they don't really tab in or nothing they just sort of hang here and there's a good bit of die cast in them um but they just look a bit a bit odd on the back there i mean well for me anyway now these treads do roll um as you can see like that try and get them in the light um but let me see if I can just make it a little bit brighter. I don't know if that is going to be too bright. There we go. Um, but anyway, actually, it might be a bit too bright now. Uh, anyway, right. So there we go. I digress. Um, but he's a great tank. Um, yeah, I, I think he's a great representation of what we saw in the comics. Uh, this gun does move. It does fire, actually, a little um, missile. But uh, I've put that in the box, and that is... I've left the box up in the loft, unfortunately. Um, but it does swivel. It does turn. Um, and I love how they've, they've painted the front of that um, extra missile pod there. I don't know if that's going to zoom in on it. Probably bloody won't. No, but there we go. But anyway, they painted that, and I like that. I like this little gun on top here. He had that in the comics, and then he's got this main big cannon on the front. Now, it's a shame that doesn't move, but there we go. Now, this wasn't the first War Within Megatron. There was the Titanium Megatron, which actually isn't a bad figure. I do like that one. Um, it was just a shame that they actually made it out of die-cast metal, uh, or some of the parts anyway, and so it makes some of the joint because the joints are all plastic, puts way too much pressure on those joints here and that with just floppy joints everywhere and it, it's what the downside of those figures were unfortunately um but it was about a deluxe sized figure but this is good now the front bits on the front here now i've had them closed because i prefer that look um but you can if you can get it just right bring them out like that without breaking it feels like you're gonna snap the bloody things to be honest and then you can open these out there's a couple of little Get it in focus so you can just sit in there and you can just pull these out like so. I probably isn't going to focus now, is it? There we go. I'm trying to get it so it's just bright enough. There we go. So, anyway, so then you can open them out like so, all the way actually. And then you can just put it down like this. Oh dear, it doesn't sound good, does it? And then he's got like a little barren ram or scoop thing, whatever you want to call it, really. Um, it's not too bad. This brightness really does my head on this bloody camera. Anyway, right, so then we end up with that there. And it's not too bad, if you want my opinion. I actually don't mind it. Um, but I prefer the closed look. Right, anyway, we are going to transform it now, because there's not much else to be said about this mode, really, other than the fact that it looks really cool. Um, but the mode I'm going to display him in is going to be his robot mode. And if I knock my stuff anymore, these lights are going to come crashing down. Um, let's see if I can close this one up. Oh, there we go. That's not bloody good, is it? Ooh. Right, so we're going to take the scan off here. We start by taking a few bits off. We're going to put that to the side. Um, this little gun, you can detach. So for now, we are going to detach it and we can put it on later. Um, and then we've got to get this huge central piece off. Now, it does tab it onto these little side panels here. I'm going to try and do... Oh, my God. Um, yeah, they do pop off, actually. <laughs> there we go. Um, so anyway, so we've got them disconnected now. We've just got to try and move that out of the way. And then we're going to raise this up and get the blooming thing off. It's probably going to be cause me untold amounts of problems trying to get this off on camera. Because it goes through two holes, in fact. Hey, there we go. It's quite cool because it goes through this hole. And there's a hole just under there which it goes through holding it everything in place, which is kind of cool. Anyway, right. So once you've got all this off, what you can do with this, um, let me just... See if I can turn my brightness down to bloody weird phone. Anyway, right, so you can just angle these 
back and they all just fit snugly in there and that's how they will hide away and then you can either put that gun back in there if you want or we can do what we're going to do a bit later with it uh, right so we're going to put that to one side then we have got to have that already so then we're going to start around the back here now the back was a nightmare for me uh, trying to get all this central column to peg in properly uh, wasn't great um, we're going to take this out of here which is going to become his sword um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully, as you can see, just in here, there's a couple of bits where it's tabbed in. You just got to try and get in there and pry the buggers out. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on camera without it breaking or something. I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit scary from my opinion. Oh, there we go. I've done that one. All right, so you just got to do the same on this side. Just keep, just ease it bloody out. Ah, there we go. So anyway, right, so you've done that and then you can open these out. Then you can just start moving the legs out. And then pretty much from there, you're just going to start um, moving this bits up. There we go. That just accordions onto the back. And I like how this does that. It just does something so simple. This folds up, I believe, or something. I can't remember what this does. Um, it might just do that. I can't really remember. It might just do that. I can't remember. But that looks either, okay either way. Um, anyway, and that just sort of hangs there on the back like that. Right, then we can bring the legs down. Uh, we're going to make sure we know what's the front of the leg. So we're going to start turning things around. You have to turn this around at that knee joint. Just I suppose there. it's spinning around at the waist in a minute. That's what I've done wrong. So anyway, so what I have done wrong is this needs to be rotated around to there. Then we've already opened this panel out and then this just simply closes up, tabs in there. And that fills in this nice side gap. And then with the foot, providing everything doesn't roll off my table, you can bring out his toes, close that one back up. So we're going to do the same again on this leg. So bring it out flush. This little thing oh, untabs from there. His toes will come out. That closes up. And then what we're going to do, we want to rotate um, this around like that. And then this back around like that. Close it all up. And providing you've done it right, that should close up nicely. And then we can just lift this up ever so slightly and rotate him around at the waist. That gives us this central body done. And he's looking pretty damn good already. Right, so anyway, so now we've got all this done. Now we just got to mess about with these blooming arms. Let me raise my camera up ever so slightly. There we go. Um, now then we open these out somewhere like so and then we slide it down on this joint now when I was transforming it the other day into this mode that is what flummoxed me a little bit because I wasn't expecting that to do that you have to raise it up got to try and get these around to this position um, bring his forearm down and rotate it then we can close this back up into there like so then we come get mega under time. here so anyway so then we close that back up um, rotate these little hip pods down to the side like that and you can bring his arm back down like that so let's do this again on this arm so we're gonna open it out just oh my god it's nicely tabbed in and then we slide this down all the way then we're gonna rotate his arm around start moving some of this kibble all around oh right that's it if you bend it out just like that it does allow a bit of extra movement and then that just gonna tub into that one rotate his forearm around and here we go again let's see if this one will come out any easier than the bloody last one ah there we go Yo, oh, a little bit easier anyway not much oh jesus christ it knows how to get jammed in there doesn't it cool bloody hell it's obviously getting caught on saying it's because of all these bloody silly fingers there we go so anyway so you get that out close that back up and that is megatron pretty much done um, I just got to do one or two more things at the back here. This whole section raises up. It's on like a little accordion joint and that just is going to tab. There's two little tabs just up here and one just in there and that tabs in there like so. And then this little lot can just hang around on the back, I suppose. Not exactly sure if it's supposed to come down like that, but anyway, it looks all right. Uh, right, so there is Megatron in his robot mode and he is looking absolutely bloody brilliant um this one does pop off it's the first time it's actually popped off with me um but yes it does pop off a little bit annoyingly 
There you go, that's back in there now. There we go, and so he's got his little hip pods back on him. And he's got a full nice little ball jointed head there. Now he does come with a different couple of head sculpts. You've got the IDW sort of a head sculpt. Um, you've got, um, or is it the Dreamwave head sculpt? I'm not totally sure, to be honest. Um, or you've got more G1. I went for the more G1 sort of esque one. And anyway, so you can put this gun back on here, giving him his iconic sort of, I can't remember what they called it, like not it was the front of his old G1 gun, wasn't it? That was uh, left poking up a little, little gun kibble there. So they've given him there. Now this gun can aim forwards over the shoulder and again, it can do that. Uh, you can uh, use this as a shield and that will just plug onto the little port on his arm there. I don't really like that too much. not really a fan of that. Uh, this does turn into a sword. Now someone did tell me, oh my God, uh, that there's a couple of different versions of this sword, well, colour mainly. Uh, this is the purple one, and again, it fits just like most masterpieces. Um, it will fit if you can get his poxy fingers open. Um, it's got that little ridge just on there, and it will fit easily into his hand. I say that, it goes, it's a bugger to get in and out, but once it's in, it is so stable. Let me get that gun out. It is so stable, because I've had it in displayed like it for quite a while now. Once it's in there, it closes his hand up around it. I don't think that's in there totally good, but it still looks good though, doesn't it? Look at that. That is just one absolutely brilliant robot. Now I put the Decepticon in signal on him there, and as you can see, it's sort of like one of these little hologrammatic ones that I got from Repro Labels. I like that because um, I sort of love the old War Within sort of stuff, how they, not is it the War Within, or is it the Fall of Cybertron game? Uh, where well, they had the glowing symbols, and I'm sure Repro Labels used to do them sort of ones, but the only ones I could find on there now was these ones. Um, but they, they'll do. Oh, I quite like that um, for Cybertron and stuff. Um, but this is the War Within Megatron. Now, I really like this. Gun. I'm going to put this on there. I really like this. I, I do. Um, I was so chuffed to get it, and I'm glad I got it. It is one of these toys that, if you love Megatron, um, you should get it. Now, he does have some batteries, actually. I almost forgot to mention this. There's a little switch just under here. And I don't know if this is going to show up too well. There we go. And just to light up that section, because in the comics, uh, that was always glowing. <laughs> so I have no idea why. But there we go. Let me turn that off. Um, where you put the batteries, you open this little compartment up here. And I like how, the, um, if you look at the detail, it's almost like his spark chamber, shame I didn't um, colour that in or anything like that, but you just pop that out and that's where the batteries go in there. You need two L, was it LL44s or something, or LR44, something like those little, little batteries. But what I usually do is you can get any sort of size batteries like that, just jam them in there and it usually works pretty much. Um, but it is pretty good. Now I'm not quite sure I've done this right. Um, I can't really remember exactly how it's supposed to go. Um, I mean, maybe it does sort of go like that, but I can't remember. But either way, it, it looks okay. You can sort of like angle it up like that. Isn't it? It's, it does look a little bit, I don't remember it looking like that. But there we go. But I don't despite looking from the back, so it's good. And you're going to get this into a lot of good poses because you've got ankle tilts, everything like that. Some good movement on that head. You know, he is, he's a great figure. He is one of my favourites, favourite Megatrons that I've bought of late. Anyway, right, so we're going to put his arms down like that. Just to give you a few size comparisons, um, here is a few other figures. Here he is with his counterpart. This is Spark Toys Alpha, as Alpha Pack that I reviewed quite a while ago now. Um, and he's a good size with him. Um, yeah, I think these guys do go good together. I'm more impressed with Megatron than I am with him. Um, I think it's probably, maybe it's just too basic, I don't know. There's something about him I'm not too sure about. But there we go. Uh, now, I did buy this figure. This is Make Toys Galaxy Meteor. And that is based on the War Within as well. Um, sort of, or it's more of a Cybertron, but the Cybertron did take its cue from the War Within. So I think these two do go very, very nicely together. And that is why I bought this figure in the end. I wasn't going to bother with this one because I didn't understand it at the time. But if I'd seen that, I would have bought that because these two just go so well together. Oh, and just because I did buy a Masterpiece Shockwave in the end, 
well, a KO one anyway. Um, what I'm going to do with my fans toy shockwave is that now he is going to become the sort of not exactly a war within shockwave, but a Cybertron shockwave because he's got a slightly different look, hasn't he? Um, and I think he really goes well with these and he scales pretty well and I like them. And so whenever I do get a decent war within shelf, this is how they will be displayed. Uh, I do have a skiff somewhere. Is it a Mastoid skiff? And they go really well. Uh, hopefully they will make the Grimlock. I haven't seen no pictures. I've seen a picture of it, but that's only on the back of the box. But, you know. Right, this has been Graham, the Collector 75. I'm going to leave this for you there. It's probably gone on way longer than I thought. So anyway, um, feel free to comment, subscribe, rate. Uh, you can hit the notification bell um, for when I upload new videos, if you're that interested. And of course, you can support my channel using the links below. Right, this has been Graham, the Collector 75. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.